look at the suffering face of the, the patient because he has not only a body, he has a soul. Now, Hodgkin's disease is a, a relatively rare, rare disease. Um, there's about 8,000 new cases in the United States each year. It's a very important disease, though, because it strikes patients who are in their 20s and 30s. Once it became recognized that it was curable, it became a model for uh, success in the treatment of cancer. His big aim was to improve the survival, quite simply to improve the survival rates for Hodgkin's lymphoma patients. I got so uh, angry about uh, this tumor that killed these beautiful young kids in Sweden that I said, well, I want to fight you and you are my enemy. The Volkodil created a few years ago a project that we call Lebenswert, and it means that we deliver to the patient a, a whole array of different possibilities of complementary uh, care. Our strive is now to do both. Cure the patient with the best of molecular medicine, and the other is to help him to come back to a normal life. Hodgkin's cell lines have been very difficult to grow, they're very fragile. There's been attempts in this country to do it that have not been successful, and Dr. Deal was able to grow a number of different cell lines, and essentially is the only person to have developed this. It was a major achievement of himself and also of his group to revolutionize, in a way, the treatment of Hodgkin's disease uh, and to increase the survival of those patients, if I understand it correctly, to about 80 to 90 percent right now, which is uh, clearly very remarkable and very important. The German Hodgkin's group has asked simple but seminal questions that required uh, answering, and this could not have been possible without Volker's organization. Basically, it was uh, a participation of hospitals who were not only academic hospitals, university hospitals, but the basic core of the German Hodgkin Lymphoma Study Group always were the regional hospitals out there in the country who standardized their way of treatment. We've tackled, I think, many of the really relevant questions in Hodgkin's, also developed new uh, drugs, new regimen, like BCOP, uh, that are curing more patients than other regimens. We think a big clinical trial is 100 patients. They'll have 1,000 patients. It's extraordinary what you can learn when you have a, uh, a database and an infrastructure like that. And the German Hutchins Study Group has been very successful in devising trials that cut back on the amount of radiation or the amount of chemotherapy and showing that that can be very effective. I think uh, that what attracts people the most about Volker is that he really puts his heart and soul into what he does. He's clearly put his heart and soul into developing the Biocop therapy. He put his heart and soul into developing the German Hodgkin study group. Uh, he put, he's put his heart and soul uh, into making people better. I regard Volker as a tremendous friend and also a role model. Um, I think many of us, as we began careers in hematologic malignancies, look to him as someone to emulate. I'm proud that the American Society of Hematology uh, is very broad in its perspective and will recognize good medicine and good science uh, from wherever it emanates. My f former colleague here, Tom Fry, used to say, we're here to move the field. And Volker knew him quite well. Um, and he, and Volker, that's what Volker's doing, moving the field. This ingenious man had an enormous broad mind to cross national societal borders and embrace the whole world. And this is what I wanted to do all my life. Receiving this award means that my friends, the hematologists in the United States of America, uh, accept my work as something that is worth uh, being awarded. And this I take with all 
uh, gratitude and humility and include all my co-workers that have deserved this prize as much as I have done.